Hello. And welcome back by Alessandro. And Abe. And today episode, what, what, what it will be about Abe today episode? So for a change, we're going to look at open R&DR. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, that's our topic. Yes. Um, and shade styles. That, shade styles. Yeah. Okay. So what are shade styles in a nutshell? So that's explained well in the guide. There is a mm -hmm. section for it, mm -hmm. but it's related to shaders, mm -hmm. um, GLSL shaders mm -hmm. so far. So basically, it's related to the way that we display and draw the various objects from the point of view of uh, open R and R. We can modify how things are drawn and displayed in, um, say, um, yeah. Yes. One one way I like to explain it is that. Oh, to tell people that even if you don't know, you are already using shaders. Yeah, exactly. When exactly. you draw a circle or a, yeah, or a change, a, or change a color. Yes. Uh, so it's taken care for you. Mm -hmm. But if you know about them, then you can modify the shaders and exactly, how they behave. Exactly, exactly. So this basically allows you to make custom way in which things are drawn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I think we want to first look at these ORX shade style. Yeah. Remember that we have talked about ORX and you can see them as uh, libraries. Yeah. Right? So we're going to take this first step is to use existing shade mm -hmm. style and the next step will be to write our own. Our own. And the, the, the reason is because to write your own, you need a little bit of introduction to something that is called GLSL. We will provide the super, 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 super basic. But somehow we suggest to start from existing one and maybe you'll solve your problem already <laughs> and you don't have to implement anything uh, right. from scratch. Okay, super. Yeah. I think this is, I really like gradients. Mm -hmm. um, often frameworks don't have Mm, like some kind of gradient feature. Mm -hmm. like you, you have to write it yourself. Mm -hmm. But in here we have this add-on, this extension. Mm -hmm. uh, we can start by making using a linear gradient. Mm -hmm. That's something very simple. Super. Okay. So we can, from the start, we can do something very simple. Draw either a rectangle or a circle and uh, and make like make a gradient. Yeah. Okay. I'm putting here a circle. Right. And now... Instead of this uh, plain white color, mm -hmm. we want to use um, this shader, this gradient. Mm -hmm. So we could create one here, mm -hmm. uh, gradient. Like, of course, you can imagine there are various forms of gradient, like circular, linear, I mean, of various mm -hmm. type. We are choosing a linear gradient. Uh, it has two main arguments, which are two colors. Mm -hmm. mm, what should we use? Yellow <laughs> mm -hmm. and green, for example. And what are the next? There's an offset. We can leave it at zero, so mm -hmm. it's centered. Mm -hmm. And There's then I expect there is a parameter that decides, mixes the color, right? There's a, let me see, there's a, you cannot really, ah, right, you can only change the center yeah, yeah, okay, okay, of the okay, gradient. Okay. Right, right, right. Then right. you can rotate it. Yeah. But let's start like this, just two okay. colors. Okay. And then uh, now to apply this, we call drawer, mm -hmm. what is it, shade style? So this is basically where the state of drawer is uh, um, of the shade style to use is uh, how to say uh, contained. You mm -hmm. modif We are saying, please modify your default shade style with this new one, which is the yeah. gradient. Yeah. Okay. Um, a gradient, a uh, shade style can have parameters. Mm -hmm. So now we could. Well, this is, I guess, a feature of these ORX. Oh, I'm not okay. sure. Yeah, the rotation, for example. Mm -hmm. Do we have rotation? Yeah. So, yeah, this is passing some value mm -hmm. uh, to the shader, to the mm -hmm. shade style, which is a, uh, mm, what's the name? Uniform. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, second. And uniform and is another name for a variable, let's say. Yeah. Like this, okay. Uh -huh. and, and basically, I'm just now. Maybe this is very you subtle. Be, yeah, you should be able to see that the yellow part is moving around, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I made it a bit faster. Mm -hmm. uh, if you think that it's 360 degrees, then how long it will take? Like 360 divided by 30 is 12 seconds mm -hmm. to make a full turn. And mm -hmm. so this is this rotation is one of the parameters of a mm -hmm. gradient, and there's others like there's an exponent. Yes, exactly, which I think changes how li the linear behavior of the yeah. gradient probably. Ah, uh, yeah, the, this feature. Yeah. <laughs> this, uh, yes, exactly. So the more 
extreme. Ah, yeah, you're basically pushing towards one of the yeah, colors or the other. Yeah. So, for instance, here, one thing w w could be very easy to do is to make oscillate this uh, exponent by starting, say, at say um, two, two mm -hmm. dot zero, and adding a sine wave. Yeah. And you make it, you know, go be driven by the seconds. Let's try that. I have to import the sign from the math library. Mm -hmm. and, and you can see, you see that while it rotates, the gradient disappears, but then it comes back. Yeah, it's, it's shifting all towards green and then exactly, towards yellow. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And this, this already shows how quickly you can have these kind of uh, uh, very nice effects mm -hmm. about, you know, uh, grading, I mean, shading uh, things. So now, what we could do, we could show how we can apply this even to a shape. Uh -huh. Remember, last episode, we talked a lot about shapes. Mm -hmm. We can make a shape from a given number of points, yeah. right? And show how the gradient works there. So, draw a shape. We're going to draw a shape. Mm -hmm. And do we create the shape up here? Mm -hmm. um, Maybe, well, shape or shape contour. Shape would, contour, shape yeah. contour, yeah. Then shape contour mm -hmm. from points. From points, and you can generate some random points. Uh, let me see, like a list of 10. Mm -hmm. And drawer bounds, is there uniform there? Yeah. And a distance from the borders. Mm -hmm. And now we need to specify if it's closed or not. Mm -hmm. I make it closed, and I'm just going to change this to be contour. contour. And that's it. Now let's see what happens. <laughs> you see, but you see that the, the shading now, it is shading the internal interior of mm -hmm. the yeah. of the contour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, add some more margin there. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So... I was thinking, should we finish just by making like a grid of, I don't know, circles to cover the whole screen? Yes, let's make a grid. Okay, that's very cool. Let's make a grid to cover the whole screen of circles. And we can use the grid parameter uh -huh. as a, um, and map it to a parameter of the um, yeah. the rotation. Yeah. Or the so every entry can have a different rotation exactly. or something. Exactly, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, cool. Um, let's see. So I will make here a grid. It's going to be based on drawer bounds, which is a rectangle. And there's grid. And here I can specify how many items I mm -hmm. want. For example, 10 times 20. Mm -hmm. And some margins, which maybe looks nicer. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the margins. And then we can have spacing between mm -hmm. the items, which are 20. Mm -hmm. So now we have a grid. That's a list of list of rectangle. Mm -hmm. You can see it in the yeah in the hint there. Mm -hmm. I will flatten it. So instead we have a list of rectangle, mm -hmm. and now we can just work with this. Yes. Then we can do a grid for each. Grid for each. Um, and we want to bring probably those parameters inside. Yeah. Grid for each. Each indexed. Uh, for each index, okay, index. If we want to use the index, otherwise yeah. we could use the center I as an identifier. And I'm gonna just put a circle there first. Yeah. Gradient, uh, no gradient. No <laughs> circle. Draw Draw circle. circle. Uh, it's that center, mm -hmm. and just this for testing. Uh, yeah. So uh, interesting that we don't have. Ah, we don't have activated now the... Did I delete that line? Which line? Uh, the shade the style. style. Yeah, yeah. Draw the shade style is gradient. So now yeah. we have them all. But we can see that now all the balls have the same uh, shading behavior. Yeah. Uh, but... Yeah. Then we can, instead of this, yeah. let me see. I will... Should we keep both exponent and rotation? Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, do it. yeah. Oh. So... Uh, maybe I add here mm. time i times I don't know twenty. Mm -hmm. So now they have an offset of offset, yeah. twenty mm -hmm. degrees for each. Mm -hmm. Ah no, <laughs> that's a nice pattern. Mm -hmm. And we could even add yeah, know, uh, yeah. an offset for the yeah. sine wave. Mm -hmm. 
So then when some Maybe of them... Maybe go multiply by, uh, like, because these are all integers. Uh -huh. You know, so it will only make the difference between even and odd. Not, no, okay, we are not multiplied by 2 pi or uh -huh. by pi. Uh -huh. It's fine, but if you multiply by 0 0.1, probably mm -hmm. it gets a bit subtle. Ah, uh, here in the yeah, sine yeah, wave. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, there's more similarity yeah. with the yeah. neighbors. And you see kind of like a wave moving up. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. Nice. Yeah. I have to say there is a contrast between, you know, the yellow, green, and the pink. <laughs> but I think we are, uh, I mean, I think the effect is nice. Ooh. Yeah. That's a bit too large. Yeah. This is nice though. Uh -huh. <laughs> like it's a nice effect. Yeah. Um, yeah, and there are uh, we can we can sh uh, now show that let's let's um keep the code the way it is but change the gradient thing. Okay. We can you know use another type of gradient mm -hmm. and see what is the effect, the final effect? We will have to see that the gradient also has yeah, th this these is correct. This arguments, is, but yeah. This is correct. So what but... else do we have? There's linear. Well, this is a bit more fancy with, yeah, with uh, endpoint end gradients. And uh, uh, endpoint linear. What is the one below? This is a radial gradient, endpoint radial gradient. Endpoint radial gradient. Ah, cool, with transparency. Yeah, let's try this. Yeah, maybe. that's cool. I'm going to look at the source code. Yeah. Um, and so it's a gradient. I'm going to copy this. And you yeah. pass an array of, of colors. colors. And an array of... What What are those? <laughs> I guess the ID will tell us. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I have to import, import this. That. And this becomes a list of... Or array of. Array of? Yeah. Uh, array of. Array of. There is a subtle difference in the Kotlin yeah. between array of and list of, right? I think also maybe this. I don't know why, but maybe we can change it in the upstream to yeah. make to make uh, use of list. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, so let me look at the arguments here. They are um, points, offset. Oh wait, colors and points. What are the points? Array oh. of double. Uh, maybe it's a normalized position between two and one. Yeah. Let's look at the example. Yeah, yeah, 0, yeah, 0, yeah, 4, yeah, 0, 5, yeah. 0, 6, yeah, 1, yeah. 0. You can get this? Yeah, so those are the... What do you mean to copy the whole... All yeah, the yeah, everything. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Lazy. And yes, <laughs> and uh, remove the exponent because ah. there is no such a parameter. Notice that it's cool that uh, it's opacifying to 0 some of the colors. Yeah, so, so th that's why you have these... Uh, so they are transparent. Uh, transparent, yes. So these, and we get rid of the exp exponent. exponent. And see what happens. And the rotation doesn't make sense if they are radial. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to... Oh, look, look at the effect. <laughs> looks like some closed eyes or something. Yes. I'm going to remove the stroke. Mm -hmm. Drawer, stroke, snool. And there are rings. Oh, okay. Actually, the effect is that these rings are, you know, like 3D, but put in the ground, right? Yeah, yeah. I have this, like, that part of the ring is under. That's uh -huh. the effect that I perceive. Uh, funny. Uh, but there's a, one of the colors is pink, which is ah, the uh, hiding yeah. the one behind. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Um, I wonder, one could one play? But yeah, maybe this is getting too long. We could and see if we can animate the yeah. this array of numbers. But yeah, I mean, of course, every time you there is something uh, uh, a number, yeah. you animate it. <laughs> I think it's rule rule zero <laughs> of creative coding. Like every time that there is, you know. But yeah, I see here that is is rewritable, points, so you yeah. can update this. So you this. can you could put points, put the array, and uh, you know animate mm -hmm. some of that. Yeah. Very good, but I think we can wrap up the video yeah. by showing, and we have showed uh, what how to use this draw style, and now you can go and have fun. With, oh, uh, look at that! With oh, yo, yo, yo. that's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> that, okay. That's super nice. See you okay, in the so next we'll video. see you in the next episode. Yeah. Bye. Take care. <laughs>